A Romantic Fool Guide Chapter 1 A Romantic Fool Guide Romance Ideas from Daring Tolifully.com slash Valentine's hyphen day hyphen bucket hyphen list. Tell him or her why you love them. Candles. Donuts. Love movies. A walk to remember. The lucky one. Message in a bottle. A gag gift. A homemade gift. The gift of food. The gift of music. A note that says, I love you. Bake sugar cookies shaped like hearts. Bake a heart-shaped cake. Balloon bouquet. Decorate for Valentine's Day. Cook a favorite meal. Fondue for Valentine's Day. Do one special thing for each other from the 1st to the 13th of February, a countdown to Valentine's Day. Dress all in red. Foot rubs. Love notes. Post up a love quote in the house. Get a caricature painting done of the two of you together. Read a poem to your partner. Heart-shaped keychain, pendant, or pin. Get a couple's massage. Special mug for Valentine's Day. A heart-shaped box with assorted chocolates. A card that says I love you because. A red rose. A personalized Valentine's Day teddy bear. Romantic gift. Hang up heart-shaped ornaments. Photos of your loved one. Strawberries dipped in milk chocolate. Heart-shaped chocolates. Serenade your loved on Valentine's Day. Hire a chef for dinner for two. I love you because of the way your face lights up when you smile. I love you because you believe in me. Heart-shaped notes. Make pancakes into the shapes of hearts. Valentine's Day pretzels dipped in chocolate and sprinkles. Red velvet crepes with raspberry jam. Grand romantic gesture. A love tree for your table centerpiece. A gift basket. Bottle of champagne. Book of love coupons redeemable for nice things and actions. Valentine themed socks. Root beer float. Eat dinner at restaurant. Yearly Valentine's Day pillow fight in San Francisco. Put a love themed jigsaw puzzle together. Valentine's Day wreath. Recreate your first date. Slow dance with your partner. Play Unchained Melody by the Righteous Brothers. Take coffee to her at work. Take a bubble bath with your partner. Raspberries, strawberries. Valentine's Subway art. Write a love letter. Write a love poem. Get romance ideas from MTV's Catfish, the TV show. At mtv.com mtv.ca or the MTV app, there are at least eight seasons of a TV show that you can watch anytime about people who fall in love with strangers online, usually people with fake pictures, people who don't look so hot who post pictures of themselves as good-looking people. If you watch the show, you see some of the messages they post to each other. It's simple. Treat a potential or real lover the way you want to be treated. Don't be afraid to say I love you, babe, you are my everything, me, and you together forever, I'll always be there for you, babes, etc. Chapter 2 A Man's Romance Guide My View of Romance Have you ever pulled the car up, walked into the house, told your wife to put something nice on quickly or come as she is and go somewhere or have a picnic basket and blanket all set up in the car? There are thousands of near-empty public parks around where you can go on a weekday, bring your picnic basket and barbecue-slash-propane stove and enjoy a nice, inexpensive special time together. I was an active outdoor person when I was younger using park facilities to exercise, run, and bike in and I very rarely saw lovers there although I saw a few here and there. People just don't go out much to do romantic things after the tedium of their work lives. In my whitewashed idealized youth, I remember driving to the coast sometimes, we'd get out of the car and walk up and down the lonely seashore together with my dog. When you're out there in the majesty of something as powerful as the ocean with the waves crashing in and the gulls flying all around, it has a freeing effect on the senses. Two insignificant beings within this grand scheme of things can easily bond and cuddle much better than if they were just sitting at home on the couch watching TV. I remember doing things like this late at night on warm summer nights. This is freedom and love, 
the highest ideals of the aesthetic. When I was younger, I spent many summer nights going to different waterholes for swims than going to a cheap restaurant after. Sometimes, we'd sit around and have a barbecue or a little campfire, a little picnic, beer, a bit of drugs and listen to music and talk and kiss. As I will say again, there's something about the outdoors and nighttime that have a great effect on romance. Find peaceful places in your area where you can go and sit around like public parks or swimming areas. This is what great memories of youth are made of, all those carefree nights when we lived it for the pure enjoyment of life. I will never forget all those midnight swims we had then because it was so warm outside, we'd sit around and talk and hug and stuff. This is what the great memories of youthful romance are made of. The outdoors is a natural aphrodisiac. Take her to a hiking store, buy her a pair of hiking shoes, some sexy-looking camouflage pants and a flannel work shirt. She will love this new look to her wardrobe. Learn about some hiking trails in advance, then go for a good hike up a hill where you have a picnic. Then you walk all the way back, go for a swim and have a barbecue under the stars. A dog always helps with the atmosphere. Light a campfire and look into her eyes. That's romance. Bring a blanket to mess around in the woods. Watch out for ants though. I love the outdoors but I could care less about roughing it like we did on our camping trips during my adolescent years. The perfect solution is the RV, recreational vehicle. You can buy some older ones like a truck with a camper shell for a few thousand bucks and then you can go anywhere and you've got an instant home. I RVED through the Rockies in Canada and the Shenandoah Valley slash Blue Ridge MTNS in Virginia to the Smokies in Tennessee down to New Orleans on through to Clearwater, Florida. It was a nice trip. In the Rockies, they got a bubble train with a plastic roof, virail.ca. People don't realize that there are thousands of RV parks and campgrounds on this continent not to mention our great national and provincial slash state parks. Unless you've driven through a few of them with a great stereo in your car, you're missing out on romance because these places have a way of opening anybody up and making them feel great. And it's not just nature. With an RV, you can drive to cities and places around your neck of the woods for city things and not have to worry about high hotel rates, expensive restaurants, etc. You can bring it all within your grasp with an RV. Just buy a good campground directory and you're all set. Whittles has a pretty good one. There are several others too. Buy your food at supermarket delis. Bring the dog for comic relief. Get some local and state tourist guides and you will find plenty of things to do. There are amusement parks, festivals, fairs, new towns to explore, scenic drives, hot air balloons, wineries, new swimming holes, etc. I went to Mardi Gras then went up to Branson, Missouri and it didn't cost much because I did it with an RV and it was a lot of fun. If you're really cheap, just buy a tent from Walmart and set it up in your backyard or take it with you in your car. They've got some tents these days that you can set up in 5 minutes with internal collapsible fiberglass poles. My point with all this talk about RVs is that when you go out and do things to have fun with your girl, that's romantic in and of itself. I was never one for restaurants, limos, the big night out, etc. My memories of romance from youth were the fun times out there doing the things I did anyway like swimming at lakes and hiking except that I did them with a romantic companion. If you do active things you like to do, the romance will follow. You can't miss. It's all about connecting at a real level. When you enjoy each other's company in the course of the day spent together, the magic will follow. I love being outside at night when it's warm out. You can make love anywhere as long as you got a blanket. It's so much better than trying to impress somebody with your stupid suit on at some stupid, overpriced restaurant. And that brings me to my next point, food. Just about every book I've scanned about romance harps on food as a big part of it. Romance to me is about two people enjoying each other's company. It doesn't have much to do with food. Maybe it's just me, I choose not to live for my taste buds but if you feel so inclined, food, like a great gourmet meal, is supposed to be a precursor for romance. 
food does have its place in the romance game, albeit, much of it is the cultural brainwash about the big sit-down meal at the fancy restaurant. Stuff like strawberries, chocolate, whipped cream, and little treats have their place as part of a romantic evening. Chocolate supposedly has a chemical in it that makes you feel euphoric like when you fall in love. A nice romantic evening can be something as simple as going for a walk then capping it all off with an ice cream cone at the local ice cream parlor. That's more my speed than that sit-down restaurant crap. A good date is simply to cook a nice meal for your girl at home or order some food, have it delivered and eat in the privacy of your home with candlelight and a romantic movie on the VCR. I read one story where the girl asked a guy what his favorite meal was and the next night she cooked it for him. Food is related to pleasure and can enhance mood according to some mood enhancement book I read. Rent a boat for a weekend, go to some isolated spot, set up a tent and make love under the stars. Bring some lawn chairs and some love music. If you're really adventurous, do it in the boat on a nice day. Find an island somewhere and walk around naked then do it in the soft sand. If the water's shallow, warm, and sandy, do it right there. If you don't like to rough it, rent a cabin somewhere with a fireplace. If you can afford it, rent a cabin cruiser or a houseboat, go out in the ocean then just let it bob and weave while you're bobbing and weaving inside. Take her out on the deck and lick her all over under the hot sun. Drink some chilled wine, catch a buzz then engage in a long, amorous kiss. Another thing is the morning time, I'm talking early morning like sunrise. I remember when I was about 22, my girlfriend who worked night shift at a hospital came and got me out of bed at 6 o'clock, we drove out to our favorite lake in the woods, went for a swim as the sun rose then we went to her house where she cooked us a nice breakfast. We stood in the lake and kissed and hugged. Instead of the usual breakfast in bed crap, you can have a great romantic morning simply by going to a nice place like the beach and watch the sun rise together as you hug and drink your coffee out of a thermos. That morning, we captured something magical about the beauty and sanctity of life. You feel it as you watch the world wake up. Another great idea is either very early in the morning or very late at night, get out of bed an hour before your husband gets up for work, doll yourself up, Put some lingerie on then slink into the room and either wake him up with a strip tease or by grabbing his privates and doing it to him. Finish it off with breakfast in bed. One of the most romantic memories I have of my parents as older people is when they'd be out in their garden together, each puttering around enjoying each other's company, working together, helping each other out. One of my greatest memories of childhood watching my parents was just seeing them do things as a couple like go grocery shopping together, going to church together, sitting together, and otherwise just being together. When two people really love each other, just being together is enough regardless of what they're doing. No matter how seemingly mundane, the loving, inner sparks are flying. You can almost feel it by the magnetic attraction between some couples. To me, that's what romance is all about, not gimmicks but simply a real strong feeling between two people who love each other. Make your husband a nice meal, pack him a nice lunch. Men are funny creatures. They need to feel like men so make your man feel like one and he will do anything for you. When you pack him the lunch, put a little note in it telling him how much you love him. If you or your husband is going away on a trip, Leave him a love note to read with a dab of perfume on it that he will find after the separation. Romance for men 1. He seems to be in tune with what I'm going through all the time. Girl in love. While watching a blind date TV show, the guy said his idea of perfect romance was drive through romance. Order exactly what you want in the way of a female as you would order a hamburger, go around to the drive through pick it up, consume it, get your sex and feeling of lovey-dovey emotion, let the girl off, throw your junk food garbage away then go off to sleep. Although this sounds extreme, it's what a lot of men really want in an ideal world and someday they will have fembots made to be almost human that will fulfill this function for a fee. In the real world, think of one thing always, gentleness, tenderness, and kindness. First off, whatever arrogance you might have, drop it like an anchor. 
people can read a superiority complex a mile away and 100% of the population hates male macho arrogance. Don't wear any jewelry except for a functional watch and maybe a necklace with a cross or a pendant with a picture of your mother in it. Don't plaster yourself with logo sportswear or baseball hats. Wear neutral nice clothes that don't attract attention to yourself which means no tattoos or piercings. Real men don't wear earrings. I don't care how many so-called celebrities out there wear them, earrings on a man send out the message that you're vain, frivolous, and a brainwashed clone who's following the crowd to try to be cool. What kind of message do you think it sends out when someone meets you and sees that earring in your ear? The real world is made up of production, industry, business, homeless people, hungry people, and you're so self-absorbed and trivial that you took the time to go out, buy an earring, look at your pretty mug in the mirror and put it in your ear. Isn't that cute? Read 2 Timothy 3 1 5. They will be Omi lovers of themselves. In the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boastful, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, without natural affection, merciless, slanderers, without self-control, cruel, despisers of those who are good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. 2 Timothy 3 1 5. Do you think that women think you're cool or stupid for wearing an earring? If you want to attract a real lady with substance, do not wear an earring. The same deal goes with tattoos and piercings, all infantile stuff done by people with something missing in their lives that they have to do those meaningless things to build their identities up and get attention. Another one is ponytails especially on older guys. You're just sending out the message that you're trying to be cool in a phony way. Can the phoniness, be yourself? A lot of guys buy into the phony brainwash of the world about being manly and macho like make it to the top, win, beat everybody, be number one, drive a cool car, watch sports on TV and pretend you like it, drink beer because everyone else is, etc. You don't have to play homies game. Free yourself. Be yourself. Don't be afraid to openly express yourself to your girl. Be your real self like you are with your dog. Don't be afraid to express your kindly traits even if they appear feminine. Kiss her hand, look deeply into her eyes then hug her tight. Tell her you will love her for the rest of her life and do it. Decide that you want marriage and you want to be a happy husband who will love his wife forever. Be her best friend. Respect her, honor her, love her. Two souls in one, that's your motto. You will win over almost any woman with this attitude. I guarantee it. Go to your local drugstore to buy her a love card but while you're there, read the little sayings in a bunch of them. A good simple one is, when I look into your eyes, I see forever or you drive me crazy or there's just something about you that makes me wild or you make me feel like a man or your eyes are like sapphire diamonds can you picture yourself saying those things to her? No matter how corny, they will still sound good to her as long as you're sincere. Build a little barbecue in your yard. Find home project books at hashtag 680-89 at the library. Fire under the stars has a mystical quality to it. There's one thing you could do that's great but you have to be drunk or act drunk to do it. Have a barbecue outside, get drunk, put a tape in with slow love songs then start dancing with her under the moonlight. Booze has its place. It works. As long as you don't get too drunk, booze has a way of loosening two repressed lovers up. Sometimes a little buzz is just what the doctor ordered for a good dose of loving. Tape a bunch of love songs off a golden oldies or soft rock station. Get a nice car stereo, make that cool tape of songs and go for an aimless scenic ride with the stereo blasting then pull off somewhere and take a walk in the woods with a blanket. Romance for men too. Treat her like a queen. The reason you should treat your wife very special is because she's been brought up all her life with her dolls and all that stuff to believe in love, to anticipate it, to need it and then when it happens, she gives herself fully to it and you don't. You go to work. 
that's your arena of conquest while your wife and family are a sideshow. And then you wonder why she's so bent out of shape. It's wrong and you know it. She wants to love you and wants you to let her into your life. Love does not have to end with the honeymoon. Keep treating her as though you're still courting her. To her, marriage is everything. She has to get married by societal standards, you don't so go easy on her. Never say anything negative to her where you're comparing her to your mother, the secretary at work or the one with the big boobs at the mall. Women hate being compared with other women. Woman is not just a set of boobs and a pretty face. Admire her for who she is as a real live person like she's beautiful, nice, warm, a good worker, she's smart, funny, she's good with the kids, etc. Prove your love to her all the time. She's your most special girl in the whole wide world. Buy gifts no matter how cheap. Hair care products and on sale clothing at Walmart are great. Lack of money is no excuse. Little things mean a lot. You have to let her know you care. Buy her a nice, cheap print dress for $40. Don't forget all the special days in her life like her birthday and your anniversary. Take her out. Get away for the weekend. Notice things like her new dress, her new perfume, hairstyle, etc. It's fine to initiate but if she doesn't want you to do something, stop. Don't disrespect her body. Be graceful always. Flattery will get you everywhere. While you're at work, think up cute things to say to her when you get home. Open your mouth and talk, talk, talk to her. Then listen. Share your feelings with each other. Break out of the work, sports, news talk to talk about other things like feelings. You're more than your work so expand your personality. Analyze yourself as a human being and make appropriate changes. Whenever in doubt, think back to your courtship days and repeat the process. Bathe her in endearing terms. Be a thoughtful gentleman. Your wife will love you if you treat all women as a thoughtful, unavailable gentlemen then they will all be jealous of how lucky she is. When she gets older, don't criticize her looks. Get a dog and take him for walks together. Be smart. Five minutes of love talk will give you five hours of peace in the house. When she talks about her problems, don't analyze too deeply and give answers, just nod and be supportive. Sense of humor, emotional support, and childlike playfulness are the most important qualities that women want in a man. Sex is love, treat it that way. Romance means touching and caressing. It's not just a blowtorch that fizzles out. Pamper her, breakfast in bed, moonlit walks, give her a break, do things for her. Become her fantasy lover but don't make the fatal mistake that lots of men make, that is that you're a jerk and a grouch 90% of the time and when you go to touch her, you expect her to melt in your arms. It won't work. You have to be a gentleman all the time. Most women are kind of like you, normal, decent people. If you meet a very beautiful one, that's alright if she's looking for a nice guy but watch out for them if they're vain or seem to be more concerned with how they look than trying to get to know you. Many women love only themselves. Beware. All women need to connect with you every 36 to 48 hours to talk to you so they can read you and know what's on your mind. They have to feel like you're on their wavelength by connecting with you through conversation which is why you should acknowledge them with 5 minutes of conversation almost every day and not just live in your own bubble all the time. Romance for Men 3 Women need their husbands to talk to them otherwise they start to feel like they're alienated from you and maybe you don't love them anymore. Another thing that throws a lot of men from movies and such is that they think nice girls are all prim and proper and spend their time just being nice. Well, nice girls get lonely too and they're just like you in the biology department. They need loving and want to be approached. They have the same sexual fantasies as you do so don't be afraid to hug them, squeeze and do other lustful things with them all in a manner of due course though. Be uninhibited like a friendly wild animal. Go for it, play out the fantasy script of seduction with her. That's what she wants. She will love you for your romantic corniness. 
she's been dreaming about it all her life so don't let her down. Be that cornball knight in shining armor or more realistically, just do the simple gentlemanly things when taking her out on a date. Open the car door for her, let her enter first everywhere, open all doors for her and when she leaves then re-enters the room, stand up and don't sit until she does so. Help her take her coat off and move the chair back for her, all simple things that she could easily do herself but it's the gesture that counts. If you're away a lot, use the telephone. Be especially romantic and vigilant as your wife ages to reassure that she's still beautiful. Jesus told the parable of a man who built his house on sand. When the waves came, it went crashing down. The analogy is that if you don't have a good foundation, you're doomed just like your marriage. Many men take their wives for granted until she snaps and splits then they go nuts and try to win her back again. Why not build a strong foundation right from the start? If you're the kind of guy who keeps his cell phone on during supper and answers your calls, watch out, your marriage is on thin ice. The little things all add up until it's too late. Two other romance killers are the angry husband and the critical one. The sexual killers are Slam Bam Joe, the man who sees his wife as a sex object and expects sex on demand and boring Brad, too shy to initiate, he just said the heck with it and now lives in a sexless marriage. We think we're genetically pre-wired to be attracted to big breasts but when it comes right down to it, most men will take a sweet, nice girl over a big busted maven any day. In fact, most women out there don't have big breasts and they're getting along just fine. I like big boobs just like any guy but I've also fell in love with girls that had small breasts because I was taken by their sweet, inner beauty, that beautiful feminine essence that can't be defined in words. You either got it or you don't, that certain way you carry yourself and live your life. You can't fake it. I see through all the phonies thinking they're ladies by instinct. You can't really fake who you are. It's written all over you, doubly so when you open your mouth. If you try too hard at something, it gives you a way that you're not really like that. That's what really matters, someone who feels warm like a perfect fit when you snuggle with them. Anybody can have big boobs but there's a backlash against fake, cosmetic boobs. In the final analysis, don't be afraid to shed that strong, silent exterior you've been conditioned to put up for the world but don't go to the opposite extreme and come on like Rico Suavo, the charming, skin dog Sleezo. Just think like you're a combination of Clark Kent and Superman, a bit of nerd and macho. Women care about what you look like and what the house looks like even if you don't. Women probably spend more time in the house than you do so if she tells you the kitchen sink is leaking, fix it for peace of mind's sake otherwise it will just stay nagging at her mind and she will be thinking what a lazy scumbag you are. If you hang out with your guy friends, you'd better balance it out with spending time with her otherwise she will start to get jealous. Dress well, keep yourself clean. Do different things together to build a common foundation of life experiences. Be a stand-up, take charge kinda guy where you have a plan of what you want to do with her romantically and do it. Call her on the phone just to tell her you're thinking about her and love her. Talk about pleasant memories from the past. Give her compliments. Try to feel good and relaxed when together in the bedroom. Don't fight in the bedroom. Talk to her about your true feelings in life. If you like adult videos, buy her a few romance novels. That's her pornography. It will soften her up for the big love fest. If she likes a particular musical group, go out and buy her a tape of them. Romance for Men 4 As porn invades the culture, men are finding it easier to admit that they prefer porn and masturbation to a relationship. Many men think women are stuck up anyway. They are brainwashed to want so-called celebrities like BP and GC. Men think they won't measure up to what a woman wants. Many men don't think they can give a woman the dream lover and breadwinner she wants. Women want a lover, a breadwinner, a father. A guy wants to masturbate, eat junk food, play video games, listen to Justin Bieber songs and drink beer. I've been watching Christmas movies lately. They're all about a woman falling in love and getting a guy. Guys, on the other hand, 
are brought up to do things. Many guys don't need a relationship. Society says we do. Many guys are simply saying fuck it. It's hard just to earn a living. A lot of guys are just trying to pay their bills much less get into a relationship and get married. It's a tough world with rents so high in the big cities plus the car payment, etc. As an older guy, I got tired of expectations. I came across a number of women in my daily life who thought that Brad Pitt and George Clooney were the bomb which showed me how brainwashed they were because these two guys are beta males. They're skinny pale actors who have not seemed to have done anything much in the way of tough, original ventures in their lives but they are touted as cool guys and women fall for it. If I go online, some woman wants me to be like these guys just because they're overpaid, overhyped actors. I don't play anyone's game. I'll be fair with a down-to-earth person but that's it. Then they got these Asians and East Europeans on Blossoms.com and other websites acting all innocent. They had it hard in life. They want economic security. The guy is secondary. They're all cold bitches. I heard some really bad stories about guys getting sucked in bad by these girls. There was one woman who tried to goad the guy into committing domestic violence on her so he could get arrested and she could play the victim and get half of his stuff in divorce plus citizenship papers. They got that loudmouth feminist bitch on the YouTube Young Turks channel spouting off like she's the queen of the world. Men want feminine women, not the I'm all that professional woman acting advanced. I taught at a university for a number of years. I knew that the social sciences was all crap. My mission was to tell people that it was all crap. They have their own nature. That's all they need in life. Everyone around me was a phony though, trying to act like they had deep, advanced knowledge because they had several degrees. It's the way of the world now, a status game based on profession and college education not who you really are. As an enlightened, free thinker, I see past it all but the people living in this matrix don't so I constantly come across women trying to act all advanced and professional. They're not smart enough to realize that that stuff is all crap. I have no respect for these phonies. A guy wants a woman to be feminine and good in bed. That's it. I'm not a talker anymore since I realized most talk is bullshit. I don't like to talk. I like to sit in silence. Men want a soft friend not some professional woman trying to act fashionable, glamorous, and sophisticated. What women want in a man. Eyes are the windows to the soul. Here is what women say they like. Nice eyes. Bigger guys. White shirts. Clean cut. Intelligence and sense of humor. Overall cleanliness. Great smile. Left ring finger, teeth, and smell. Scent. Smell of cologne on a man. Eyes and sense of humor. How he treats his mother. Smile and physique. Things women say they don't like about a guy are. Baseball hats. Half bald. Pale skin. Long hair. Bad breath, body odor. Wimpy or femme appearance. Unkempt appearance. Fat. Short in height. Scuffed up, unpolished shoes. Dirty hands, dirty nails. Dirty ears. Long fingernails. Use of vulgar or profane language. Intoxication or drug usage. Poor personal care habits. Cell phone thing in ear. Wearing a Star Wars jersey. Chapter 3. A Romance One-Liner Guide 1. Romance One-Liners Slash Romantic One-Liners 1. French is considered the romantic language because French literature is often chivalrous, noble, and full of double entendres. Impossibly hopeful. I still believe in love. Treat your lover as special. Show that you care about your appearance. Be well groomed and dressed, at least once a week. This sets a romantic mood. Come up with cool places to go. Take the time to show that you genuinely care about your partner. If your partner has a hobby, buy them a magazine or magazine as you subscription on it. Remember your anniversary and lover's birthday. Give gifts and flowers. 
Fill up your lover's car gas tank. Telling someone you love them is good but actions speak louder than words. One night, I watched her at the window in her sleep. I noticed for the first time, how a woman's underclothes barely touches her skin. How it rides on a cushion of air as she moves. How the silk floats about her body, brushing her flesh like an angel's wings and I understood how a woman must be touched. Don Juan de Marco Create lighting moods using cool lamps, dimmer switches, a black light, strobilite, colored lights, etc. Turn off the phone. Love is given freely without expectation. You should always be expressing your love to your lover like you do to your pet. I used to think romantic love was a neurosis shared by two, a supreme foolishness. I no longer thought that. There's nothing foolish in loving anyone. Thinking you will be loved in return is what's foolish. Rita Mae Brown, Bingo, 1988 Make your relationship a priority. Have fun together. Put some spark back into your sexual relationship. Go out on a date. Set aside some time each week to be together alone. Make or buy heart-shaped pancakes or cookies. Take a walk in the park together. Run his or her bath water. Meditate together or talk a meditation or yoga class together. Do nice things for each other. Renew your marriage vows. Arrange for a babysitter so you can have a date night. Support each other in life. Do some of his or her household chores or personal chores. Take showers together regularly. Send a gift to his slash her workplace. Never stop saying how much you love each other. Rub your noses together. Thank your lover often. Send a handwritten card sprayed with your scent. Be the first to say I'm sorry after an argument. Wash each other's hair. Keep your eyes wide open before marriage, half shut afterwards. Ben Franklin Love is hugging, affection and putting a halo on your lover, seeing them as better than they really are. A kiss can make everything all right. The key to a happy marriage is spending more time counting blessings than cursing it. Offer a pedicure, to cut her nails. If you're the guy, cook for her at least once a week. It's easy. Go to number 641 at the library. Always tell her she's the most beautiful girl in the world to you. Watch the sunset together. Walk in the rain with the one you love. Dress and undress each other. Kiss every part of your wife's body. Hold hands. Wear your husband's shirts now and then. Find a secluded place to lie and watch the stars. Try incense, black lights, and music. Lightly kiss their neck and ears. Run a bubble bath for her. Go for a long walk down the beach at sunrise. Write her a poem. Kiss and smell your wife's hair. Say I love you only when you mean it. Give random gifts of candy. Tell your wife that she's the only girl you ever want to be with. Spend every second possible together. Look into each other's eyes with love. Always flirt with each other. Walk a little bit behind your wife. Put love notes in your life maid's clothes pockets. Buy your wife jewelry. Let your wife sit on your lap. Go hiking and camp out together in the woods or on a mountain. Kiss your wife's stomach. Show flesh. Wear a tube top. Hold your wife's hand, stare into her eyes, kiss her hand and then put it over your heart. You must be close enough to hear his or her heartbeat. Sit in front of a fire. Tell your life mate you love the way he or she looks. Carry your wife to bed. Try a water bed. Even if you are really busy, go out of your way to call and say I love you. Call from your trip to tell your mate you were thinking about them. Meet each other at lunch. Blow your mate a kiss as you leave for work. Act out non-sexual fantasies together. Be friendly with your mate's friends. Take your wife to see a romantic movie. Cuddle together under a full moon on a clear night. Describe the joy you feel to be with your mate. Say sweet things in foreign languages. Always kiss goodnight. Groom your spouse. Brush your wife's hair. I love you just the way you are. 
Romance is trying to make our lives better. Romance is when someone goes out of their way to show their love for you. Actions speak louder than words. Walk together hand in hand. Dance with abandon. Play your favorite song and sing it together. Talk about the art of love. Hold him tight for comfort. Hug gently. Laugh together. Cry together during hard times. Discover love together. Be loyal, kind, and attentive. Discover your souls together. Go to his favorite bar or restaurant with him. Greet him at the door with nothing on. Hide a love note in his toolbox. If he has to work late, take supper to him. If he's heading to the automotive, hardware or sporting goods store, go with him. Laugh at his jokes. Let him be your knight in shining armor. Let him channel surf. Let him fix something. Lots dash of dash romantic dash ideas dot com. Drive around your town to check out the Christmas lights. Go to a planetarium together. Buy him his favorite cookies. Enjoy dinner at a sky top lounge as the sun sets. Stargaze together with a telescope. Hide his favorite treats in his briefcase. Go to the local fair. Buy some treats on the way home to share. Carve a pumpkin together. Color Easter eggs together. Fly a kite together. Get a paint by numbers kit. Each do half of it. Go fishing together. Go on a hayride together. Go out on ST. Patrick's Day. Go to a church festival. Go to bingo together. Go to an amusement park at night. Go to a karaoke place and sing each other a romantic song. Discover two hearts that beat as one. Love each other forever. Give her a surprise when she least expects it. Buy a cake. Put candles on it that say I love you. Light them. Shut the lights off. Lay out candies in the shape I love you. Romance one-liners slash romantic one-liners too. Buy personalized jewelry for her. Write the words I love you in her books. Wear intimate apparel sometimes. Time commitment is proportional to the amount of romantic love that draws couples together. Write a letter telling how much she means to you. Tell her you want to grow old with her. Put a helium heart-shaped balloon in her car. Do a jigsaw puzzle together. Personalize jigsaw puzzles from your own photos. Spend a couple hours time together every week. Listen to your lover. Try to understand her. Give her a warm hug. If she has a problem, sit with her. Let her tell you all about it. Cuddle up and watch a movie. Touch her and hold her to the depth of her soul. Love will make you feel fully alive. Love is a fruit in season at all times and within reach of every hand. Mother Teresa The Prayer of Francis of Assisi for those in love As you lose yourselves in each other's love, Keep aware of how easy it will be to so love and enjoy each other that you shut out those who need you individually and together. Pray this prayer together. Lord, make us instruments of thy peace. Where there is hate, may we bring love. Where offense, may we bring pardon. May we bring union in place of discord. Truth, replacing error. Faith, where once there was doubt. Hope, for despair. Light, where there was darkness. Joy to replace sadness. Make us not to so crave to be loved as to love. Help us to learn that in giving we may receive. In forgetting ourselves, we may find life eternal. Love's wings. There is nothing holier in this life of ours than the first consciousness of love. The first fluttering of its silken wings. The first rising sound and breath of that wind which is so soon to sweep through the soul. To purify or to destroy. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow Intense love gives and gives. When one feels frisky, give into it. Give her a good massage. Write a poem. Cook a romantic dinner. A gentleman should always open the door for a lady, it shows respect and courtesy. Wash her feet. Listen to how she feels about all situations dance. Brush wayward strands of hair from her eyes and mouth. 
walk towards her and smile as soon as you see her. Kiss her between her shoulder blades when her back is to you. Put your arm around her when you introduce her to your friends and family. Hold hands. Kiss her eyelids. Ask to see a picture of her when she was a child. Wash her from head to toe in the shower. If she's crying on the phone, go over to her place immediately. Listen to her. Order coffee for her, remembering exactly how she likes it. Mention your upcoming anniversary before she does. Send her a love letter in the mail. Stare into her eyes and tell her there is no one in the world who could be as right for you as she is. Pick her clothes up off the floor. Walk in the rain. Dance in the rain. Love is a great adventure so try new things together. Go for a night walk and look up at the stars. Bring a blanket if you plan to sit down. Do it in your yard while listening to romantic music. Do things to make her realize you love her. Go out for dinner with your friends. Take your partner to the local ice or roller skating arena. Create one day a week without children where you spend time together. If your wife works, clean the house or hire a cleaning service. Do the laundry. Clean the bathrooms. Spend time together. Hold hands while walking. Stay up all night and wait for the sunrise. Bring her dessert in bed. Hike in the local parks together. Bring a snack home. Cook together. Appreciate her. Have dinner then dance with each other. Keep changing things up to make your partner feel that you're a fun guy. Serve her favorite drink to her in a wine goblet. Tell her all the things that you love about her. Ask her specific questions about her work or school. Keep her favorite food on hand. In the middle of a conversation, tell her you love her. Take her to a cabin with a fireplace and build a fire. Fix something she owns when it breaks. Compliment her when she's wearing something new. Run a bath for her. Give her a massage. Talk to your partner. Tell her what is not right if you feel something is wrong. Unless both people are willing to try, it's futile. Intimacy is very important in a relationship. Hold hands or snuggle. Give a full body massage. Sing a love song. Form a scrap ebook of your relationship together. While your love takes a shower, write the words I love you in the condensation of the bathroom mirror. Leave a trail of Hershey's chocolate kisses from the front door to the bedroom, right up to the bed. On the bed leave a note that reads I kiss the ground you walk on. Make sure you're not home when s he gets in. Write a love note or poem on a piece of paper and then cut it up into puzzle-like pieces. Send one a day to your special someone. Men, talk more. Women, touch more. Prepare a room filled with helium balloons with glitter inside and notes inside citing reasons why you love him slash her, love coupons or little secrets between the both of you only. Find ways to show you appreciate each other every day. Pack a sunset picnic. Pick wild flowers on the way home. Burn a CD with love songs. Give dark chocolates. Read poetry together. Prepare strawberries with fondue chocolate. Snuggle together on a rainy day. Leave little love notes everywhere. Send a love email every day. Take a moonlit walk on the beach. Take a bath together. Ride a Ferris wheel. Groom yourself and try to look good for your partner. Paint each other with flavored body paint. Hold hands and walk somewhere. Say I love you in a different way every day. Romance is acts of service. Romance is adoration. Romance is helping, listening and comforting. Romance is greeting cards at random times. Romance is time, effort, and thoughtfulness. Romance is my partner rubbing my feet. Romance is snuggling. Romance is a loving email. Romance is the little things that show that he wants me, needs me, loves me. Buy her flowers. Compliment her. Be kind. Be physically attractive. Take your time. Don't rush. When she wants to sleep with you, she'll let you know. Don't be aggressive. 
Don't be impatient. The romantic idol is charming but in the real world, his sense of sensitivity is too soppy and masochistic. Discretion is the better part of valor. Romance is simply entertainment like watching a movie is. You suspend disbelief in order to enjoy it. Romance is staying intimately connected in a healthy way. Cook her breakfast in the nude. Shower together. Hug her. Rub noses. Curl up together on the couch watching TV. Kiss her neck. Go up behind her, press your body into her and caress her breasts. Wash her clothes and her car. Tickle her. Romance is the person who loves more than he or she gets back. Have a campfire, picnic, marshmallow, weenie roast, dianic.com slash picnic. Romance is not a neurotic attempt at perfectionism. It's trying to lighten the mood to get closer and letting it go at that. Romance is two people relaxing roach there, enjoying each other's company. Hold hands. Think of ways to nurture the relationship. Watch the sunset together. Take a moonlight stroll. Show your partner you care. Just about every girl likes to dance. Either take a ballroom dancing course together or go out to a local disco slash dancing oriented nightclub once a week or so. Walking outdoors together on the beach or in the woods is very romantic. Sitting under a tree necking is romantic too. Look into each other's eyes. Get her a small teddy bear. Use glow-in-the-dark stars to put a love messages on your ceiling. Put a love note in a book she's reading. Have flowers delivered to your partner's workplace. Drive to the country, find a grassy hill and lay with your partner in a private place. Send your mate a love letter to her work in an official-looking letter. Go to an event, sports, music, theater, comedy. Enjoy a picnic at the park together. Go to bed early together. Tell her why you love her. Take a walk together. Make a meal with wine. Relax together. Thank her. Don't try to change or improve him. Plan a date for the weekend. Wash her car. Offer her a massage. Buy massage oil. Give her a foot rub. Let your guy know you love him. Compliment her. Plan a day trip for the two of you. Touch each other lightly as a sign of love. Kiss each other. If your partner has to work late, take a snack to him or her. Ride the swings at the park together. Give her a long stem rose. Give her a massage after you've learned something about it. Run a hot bath for your lover. When you are in a romantic mood, ask your partner if she would like to dance. Buy a present for her pet. Go for a walk on the beach and draw the shape of a large love heart in the sand. Go for a walk. Get a backpack, pack some food in and have a picnic. Send her love notes by email and voicemail. Buy two champagne glasses and get them engraved with your names. Listen for things that your partner says she likes then buy them as presents. Buy a tree with your partner and plant it in your yard. Have a toast to your love by it and say you hope your love lasts as long as the tree. Transform a picture of your lover into a cartoon then get it made into a poster. Wake up early one morning and go to a scenic spot to watch the sun rise. Walk in the rain. Take a hot air ballooning trip. Go bike riding. Ask your partner about the things she has always wanted to do then do a few of them together. Buy a gift voucher for a session at a local beauty clinic. Buy small gifts for your partner's hobbies. Build an open fire. Sit by it at night. Take your partner to a music festival. Serve your partner breakfast in bed. Write I love you in lipstick on the mirror. Get a sign maker to make up a love sign or get a t-shirt made with a love message on it. Catching a buzz is a good way to be romantic. Have an open heart. Touch each other. Be together. Do things together. Send the kids out of the house to their aunt's house overnight. Connection with each other every day throughout the day. Make the home a romantic sanctuary. Don't criticize. Listen to good music together. Read her a poem. Watch love movies together. Shower together. 
Be loving your own way as you really are. Go out in nature together. Never criticize, complain, or preach. Be best friends. Do something spiritual together like go on a retreat, love workshop, or yoga class. Forget about life for a while by going for a drive then a walk out in nature together. Follow your heart. Trust your instincts in love. Do something together out in the community to help others. Volunteer somewhere. Help out at church. Find an older couple and use them as romantic mentors. Take them out on occasional dates with you too. Take a long bath together. Dry each other off. Walk slow and hold hands. Look into each other's eyes. Your heart beats faster and faster. When you are in each other's arms, you feel love. You get naturally high in a tight embrace, naked, making love. Play at life together. Have romantic rituals like kissing every time you see each other after more than five hours apart, going out for Sunday brunch, walking the dog, etc. Go out to useless cultural things like museums, art galleries, gardens, etc. Whatever she likes to do, buy her gifts related to those things. Massage her. Sit down and have a nice meal together at least once a week. At the very least, kiss and hug just before you both go to sleep together. If you live on different body clocks, try to get them in sync so you both go to bed together. Warm her up with a hug. Take time away from each other to reinvigorate the love for each other. Do housework together or the man should do some on his own without her prompting. Solve a crossword puzzle, build a puzzle or bake a cake together. Buy or make gifts for each other. Go out together. Feed each other chocolates and cream. Kiss her all over. Play a board game together. Take her to the shopping center. While you're out, have a friend go to your house and set it up for a romantic meal and evening. He will split before you get back and the house will be all set up. Use pet names for each other. Show physical affection. Make time to indulge your sensuous sides. Talk about interesting things together. Meditate together. Show her you love her. Be free together. Do things together on holidays. Share sexual fantasies. Do interesting creative and physical things together because they get adrenaline levels up and increase sex drive. Dance with each other. Cuddle. Write love letters to each other both at the same time in the same room. Big hugs. Talk, smile, and laugh daily. Buy books for him in his favorite subject. Shampoo her hair like they do in hair salons. Sit her down, massage her scalp, shampoo her hair then massage her face with skin cream. Keep a photo of her at work out in the open. Whenever your wife calls, take the call immediately. Send her a love letter to work. Send her flowers, lunch, a gift, etc. Have a code word which means you feel frisky, something like I feel like whipped cream, feel like strawberries, feel like pillow talk, feel frisky, etc. Sprinkle your perfume on his clothes, in his briefcase, etc. Make a tape or several tape of your favorite love songs as a couple. Compliment each other around other people. Take turns reading an erotic story out loud or tape yourself reading one then play it for him while you're in bed together. Mail him a love letter. Shave each other. Some girls say they like their guys to shave their vaginas. Take a dance class together. Slow dance in the living room. Wear nice clothes even when you're lounging around. Or at least make them skimpy and sexy. Do housework together. Sit together while relaxing in front of the TV. Flash slash expose yourself to him. Shower together. Send her lunch at work with a romantic note in it. Put 10 dating ideas into a hat. Pick one and do it. Unplug the phone, TV, etc. and just focus on being romantic. Instead of short kisses, have longer 10 second ones. Take a moonlight stroll on the beach then have a bonfire with some fancy booze drink you made beforehand and put in a thermos with ice. Bake or buy a giant cookie and write a love message on it with icing. 
Name your boat or motorcycle after her. Look through your yellow pages for romantic ideas. Make a photo album so you can look through it and drink hot chocolate on a rainy day. Buy a romance novel, read it and put comments on it like I'd like to do that to you, we should do this, etc. Then give it to her to read. Be her cheerleader. Think like a couple and live that way. Don't offer romance for sex. Make it an end in itself, enjoyable for itself. Swing in a couple swing on your porch. Don't try for romance when his favorite show is on TV or he's doing something he really likes to do like work on his car. If you got some money and live in a secluded area, build a gazebo so you can sit out in the rain and make love outdoors. Buy some crayons and color a love picture for her of you two walking together or kissing. Give her some space on her menstrual period. When he gives you a nice love letter or card, frame it and hang it up. Before you come home from work, call her and ask her if she needs something from the store. When you go away, call and send postcards. Have a vase in your kitchen and once a week or so, bring home a flower or two to add to the bouquet. Put a love note and flower on her windshield while she's at work. Stay up together all night. Don't brag. Don't carry your cell phone on a date. Don't have an exaggerated laugh. Be a seductive dancer. Don't be too skinny. Don't be high maintenance. Be a good listener. Do things that you don't like to do just to please her like go shopping with her. Women should perfume their love letters and kiss them with lipstick on. If he has a hobby like working on his car out in the garage, go out there and talk to him about his hobby. Offer to help him clean up, etc. Wine tastes good, gives you a buzz and is healthy for you because grapes are a health food. Get someone to paint a portrait of you two as a couple. Go to an outdoor theater show. Copy poems from books and give them to her. Go for a country drive. Take a shower together. Create times when there's nobody around but you two. Send the kids to the babysitter or grandma's. Go back to where you proposed and honeymooned. Always look for new romantic ideas in the media. Give him sexy photos of you. Get your most romantic photo blown up to poster size. Train rides can be romantic. Give her a locket with either a picture of you in it, you as a couple or you and her with your kids. Put a flower and love note on her pillow. Get a love phrase embroidered on a pillow or simply write a message on a new pillowcase with a red marker. Blow her a kiss as you drive away. Horse rides could be romantic. Go for a helicopter ride. Massage oil as a gift suggests you use it on her. Walk together holding hands. Take an interesting class together. Take a bubble bath together. Watch love movies together. Both of you skip work to do something romantic. Meet her at lunch hour to eat or make love. Get a furry pet. Do her housework for her. Use your fireplace or buy a wood stove. Carve your initials in a tree somewhere or put them in a piece of soft concrete. Send her mother a card thanking her for her beautiful daughter. Buy those cheap Valentine's kids use and heart-shaped candy around Valentine's Day to save to hand out to her throughout the year. Some men brush their wives' hair. Take a boat slash canoe ride then have a picnic. Know all her clothes sizes so you can buy her gifts out of the blue. Do loving things out in public like hold hands, hug, kiss, whisper sweet nothings, etc. Flirt with him. Make up love coupons like good for one back rub, good for one soft kiss, etc. and redeem them whenever you want. Get her a vanity license plate. Most states offer them, putting any message you want in six letter for $50 or so. Cruises are supposed to be romantic. Watch the sunset together. On those cold winter days, go out, start her car to warm it up and clean her windshield for her. Compliment her in front of others. Don't forget his birthday and your anniversary. Whenever you get a love thought, write it down to use when you leave your love notes around like I love you more than fried bacon. Listen to love music on the way home so you will feel romantic when you get there. Put a radio in the kitchen tuned to either a soft rock or classic love music station, Dino, 
Frankie, Bobby Vinton, Wayne Newton, etc. Romance one-liners slash romantic one-liners three. Romance is celebrating the beauty and wonder of love. Whatever you love becomes a part of you. Check out activities to do at your municipality parks and recreation website. Love is romantic friendship. Love makes us feel more alive than almost anything. With love, the heart is always right. Enjoy life with the wife who you love. Ecclesiastes 9.9 If you're in love, you're always young. Where there is love, there is joy. Don't worry about love. Honor it by being loving. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of your youth. May you be intoxicated with her love. Proverbs 5,18-19 Greet one another with a kiss of love. 1 Peter 5,14 There is no remedy for love but to love more. Henry David Thoreau To love greatly, you have to listen. Love is like a natural spring. It grows and grows. At the touch of love, everyone becomes a poet. Plato Love never fails. Good thing to say to your lover. I messed up. You're great. That was great. What do you think about this? I love you. Please. Thank you. Us together. Meet love with open arms. A happy marriage is like a long conversation that never ends. Love is the art of forgetting your partner's failings. Look for a sweet person. Forget rich. Estee Lauder. Love is kindness. To love is to be vulnerable. Love is friendship on fire. Show how much you appreciate him or her. Serve her breakfast in bed. One guy says he washes his wife's feet, cuts her nails, colors them and massages them with moisturizers. The same guy shampoos his wife's hair and combs it. Look deeply into her eyes. Go out to events together. Take her for a walk, hold her hand. Go on swings. Buy small gifts. Send her tokens of affections. Send her love notes. Find ways to keep your relationship fresh. Try satin sheets, wear lingerie, and light some scented candles to set the mood. The sheets warm up quickly. Give compliments. Play at life together. Plant a tree together. Love her family and friends. If your lover is working hard at something, take them a snack. Ride the swings at the park. Leave a long stem rose anywhere that your lover will find it with a love note attached to it. Make up a love cassette slash mp3 slash videotape with songs and you talking on it. Give the tape to your lover to play on the way to. Work in the car. Make up a card that says good for one erotic massage tonight. Buy a plastic rose. Leave a note with it that says, I'll love you until this rose dies. Buy a bag of candies once every two weeks to bring home as a treat for her. Look on Craigslist.org or in the newspaper for big local flea markets. Go alone or with your mate to buy small gifts for her. Run a hot bath for your lover, wash her, dry her and carry her to bed. Be nice to your lover's pets. Buy them gifts. Paint or chalk a heart shape on your lawn. Pack some wine and cheese in a knapsack, take a hike, have a picnic. Send love emails and voicemails to your lover. You can learn a lot about what your lover likes to do and what she might want for a gift by talking to his or her mother about it. Tell them you want to give them a special surprise. Buy your lover a charm bracelet then buy charms every few weeks to let her know you're thinking about her. If your lover is going away, pack a love note and a small present in her luggage. Listen when your lover talks. She will reveal her likes. Use that as a cue to fulfill them. Put a love note on the bathroom mirror sometimes with lipstick. Get an artist to draw a picture of the two of you in comic format based on a photo. Wake up early one morning. Go to the water to watch the sun rise. Imagination is the best aphrodisiac. While you eat, look at your lover, talk, and flirt. Whisper sexy nothings to her. Casually make sexy romantic comments during the day. Talk dirty to set the mood. 
Compliment your lover. Tell her she's hot. Say I want to fuck you now. Say I'm the luckiest guy in the world to be with you. Subtle touching will increase the sexual anticipation. When you're walking together, squeeze his or her butt. When you are sitting at a table together, rub her thigh. Hold hands. Give her a hug anytime. Brush up against him or her. If you have the room and the money, get a hot tub. Eat outside on the back patio as often as possible in the summer. Take a walk in the rain in the summer when the rain is warm. When your lover is sitting at a table with their back to you, walk up to him or her and lightly touch slash massage his neck and back. Kiss him or her on top of the head. Go for a bike ride together. Go to opera. Run hot bath. Do housework. Cook her a meal. Hold hands. Play song into voicemail. Breakfast in bed. Hidden love messages. Mailed love poem. Read her a love poem. Go to amusement park. Make I love you drawings and put them in strategic places like her purse, car, etc. Take a walk and hold hands. Watch the sunset together. Show tenderness. Dance in the moonlight. Have a wine toast or two together. Go to an outdoor play. Write her a love poem. Pamper your woman. Spend a day in bed making love. Buy a king's eyes bed for super bouts of love making. Do her chores. Always give intangible, little gifts on impulse. Go to a garden. Go to his office with a checkered tablecloth, a picnic basket and have a picnic. Create a love song and put it on tape. Walk barefoot on the beach together. Fly a kite. Take a boat cruise. Share your inner selves. Have the freedom to play with each other. Create an atmosphere where you can always be yourselves. Show an interest in his life. Allow your partner to be totally free in their expression of life. Thank God for your luck in finding each other. Do anything to let your lover know you're thinking of him or her. A fun way to go for supper is to get in the car, drive at least 5 miles to another neighborhood then look for a restaurant. When your lover is sick in bed, take care of her. Ask your lover for a list of things she wants to do then try to fulfill them. Romance is about picnics anywhere. You just need a blanket, some wine, and some food. If your lover has some hobby, get a magazine cover related to that hobby, transform your lover's face on it and put a title there. Something like sexiest tennis player alive. You can do this easily with any Photoshop software. Tie an I love you sign on some helium. Balloons tied up in your yard. Accept each other just the way you are. Be there for each other. Do things together like garden or walk. Have a picnic. Be completely vulnerable when admitting your pain and your weaknesses. Somehow try to get your work life out of your mind. Don't think about your problems. Set aside a few moments a day to be alone together. Be open with everything you feel. Work at it always. Take nothing for granted. Men listen more and let your wives talk to you. Tell them you love them. Tell them how special they are. Respect and appreciate her. Be fun to be around. Sacrifice your own leisure to do something for her. Be supportive. Say sweet nothings out of the blue. Make her laugh. Compliment her. Build up his confidence. Appreciate her nice gestures. Tell others how much you love her. Tell her how special she is. Let him when he's a good lover. Plan a romantic evening. Always be up. Write a love song for her, or a love poem or love note. You can never give enough sincere compliments to your lover. Most women like to get their hair done or like facials. Buy a coupon for this at a local spa for your lover. Never underestimate the value of thanking your lover for choosing to be with you. If you have children, get them out of the house sometimes by sending them to their grandparents so you can be alone together. Never underestimate small gifts. Try to develop an interest in what your lover is interested in. Go to a romantic bed and breakfast. 
Create an endearing nickname for your lover. Make a picture of your spouse or your wedding picture the background and screensaver on your computer. It's easy. First scan it then go to the display icon in the control panel and add it to the backgrounds already there. Constantly go out together. Try a skinny dip in an isolated area sometime. Buy your lover a pet. On the morning of your lover's birthday, serve her breakfast in bed. Plan your future together. Kind words. Love cards for all occasions. Talk under the stars. Surprise date. Surprise party. Surprise gifts, timing is everything. Be playful in the bedroom. Romantic time together. Keep pictures of her close. Keep yourself physically fit. Call her when you're away. Special things on birthdays and anniversaries. Do things together. Be on time. Let me do my own thing. Dress nicely when we go out. Surprise her with nice things and special gestures. Do household chores and cook meals without complaining. Cherish the love. Leave a love message on the answering machine. Make a love video for her with you as the star. Make a love cassette tape where you talk sexy. Fax a love message. Take a shower together. Write a poem. Surprise vacation. Romantic clothing. Surprise visit. Have an open fire and cook marshmallows just like kids. Watch a love movie on TV. Go to the zoo. Find a cozy restaurant. Train ride. Sidewalk cafe. Go to a roller skating rink. Romance one-liners slash romantic one-liners for. Take tango lessons. Go to the gym or a health spa together. Bike ride. Windsurfing. Try a PAR3 golf course. Play volleyball together at a local club. Row a boat on a lake. Go to a driving range and shoot some golf balls. Try lawn bowling. Try water skiing. Pick her up at the office unexpectedly and go do something special. Auctions, conventions, trade shows. Invite your minister to lunch to kinda bless your relationship. Get a pet that you can love together. Double date with old friends. Visit a maternity ward together. Go to a race track to watch a race. Take flying lessons together. When she's sad, talk to her about it. Speak softly always. Respect each other fully. Go skinny dipping somewhere together. Think as though you always want to do nice things for her. Touch each other often in non-sexual ways. Take a drive on the scenic route. Unplug the phone when it's happening. If she feels lonely, invite her relatives up for the weekend. Dress up for fun. Go to a water park and ride the big slide together. Buy an ice cream off a passing ice cream truck. Go to a sailing regatta. Go to the casino slash horse races. Learn skateboarding. Visit your old college slash hometown slash haunts together. Go to a home show together. Go shopping for furniture. Spend the weekend on a houseboat. Always think of cute, little gifts that add to the relationship. Serve dinner in bed. Take her on a shopping spree. Carve both of your initials in her desk drawer or in a tree. Learn bridge and cards in general and join a club. Sidewalk cafe. Go out for a night of bingo. Go to a car show. Go to a wrestling or boxing match. Go to a wedding. Go to alumni functions. Go to a bluegrass slash folk festival. Drive to a nearby town and explore it. Art gallery. Dress alike for fun. Coach a little league team together. Go canoeing. Tie a tube to a speedboat and go cruising. Go to a ranch slash farm. Go camping together. Hire a harpist to serenade her. Read fairy tales to each other. When you're going away, give him some gourmet frozen dinners. Fly a kite with a personal love message written on it. Do things for each other. Go to a water show slash sailboat race. Make a pizza. Take a cooking class together. Blues bar. Go tobogganing. Play uno. 
play a board game like Scrabble, Pictionary or Backgammon. Do crossword puzzles together. Go fishing off a wharf at sunset. Try political events, help out for an election. Go to sporting events like boxing matches, football games, etc. Tour a docked ship. Go to court to watch some trials together. Watch old love movies. Walk in the snow. Go to first aid class together. Go to church suppers. If you're frivolous, go to a fashion show. Art tour, museums, galleries, amusement parks. Check out local flower slash gardening shows, pet shows, etc. Horseback riding. If you want to kindle a flame, light a match. Read this book together. Go to a swimming pool. Lounge around the lake on a boat. Buy some nice pastries at a pastry restaurant. Hang around the house slash bed doing nothing together. When it rains, pack a picnic and have one in the car in the rain. Help out or go to some event like the Special Olympics. Back massage. Go to a theme park. Drive around during the holidays to see the Christmas lights. Dye Easter eggs together at Easter. Take a walk through a cemetery. Buy two water guns and have a fun fight. Make a photo scrapbook of your times together. Read the Bible together. Visit the older, other denominational churches in your area. Go to a religious bookstore together. Help out a local shelter. Go to a Bible study class together. Make her a giant love card. Have the waiter bring her a flower. Use lace tablecloths and napkins. Lay a flower on her pillow. Make up some customized love buttons. Hold hands. Know her ring size. Play in the fall leaves. Plant her a rose garden. Plant her a flower garden. Lean your head on his shoulder during a movie. If you notice him wearing something new, comment on it. Share a bubble bath. Give her the key to your heart. Take a train ride together. Go to church together. Go kiting. Stop at the bakery store, buy a special dessert for your beau. Get a video telephone connection. Picnic anywhere. Homemade pizza. Tape record your love making, audio only then listen to it. Make love packs like lunch together every Friday. Make a photo album of the two of you. Put a pot of flowers on your kitchen table. Together make your home a love nest. Make your bedroom a love nest. Share fantasies. Go skinny dipping. Have a pillow fight. Hire a mime slash magician to express your love. Spend time away from each other. Keep your life simple. Hold hands and go for a walk. Don't assume you can borrow his personal things. Ask beforehand. Make tea and cookies. Visit your old hometown slash college campus together. Do things with other couples. Give him a bubble bath. Go to a photo shop and have a photo blown up to poster size. Tie red ribbons all over apartment for Valentine's Day. Buy her a nice corsage. Sit on a park bench together. Hire a children's choir to serenade her. Take a scenic country drive. Buy her a makeover gift certificate. Make up private pet names together like Poopsie or Love Muffin. Build a sand castle together. Go sledding together in the snow. Take tango lessons. Have a newspaper headline made up declaring your love. Have a guitar player serenade you. Send this dream person some melted down dreamsicles. Speak in a sexy, French accent for a while. Give her a red dress on Valentine's Day. Place a cupid on his pillow. Have an indoor picnic. Buy him his favorite team's sports jersey. Go bowling. If you really like it join the bowling club. Try a video arcade. Avoid long displays of affection in public. Go to the park and feed the birds. Go to a high-rise rooftop and look out over the city. Ride the swings at a playground. Have a champagne breakfast. Play classical music. Kiss her hand. Pillow fight. Join a co-ed softball team. Go jet skiing. 
Look around at a surplus store. Play card games. Go to a sauna. Go to a hobby shop. Learn to hang glide. Romance one-liners slash romantic one-liners five. Go bungee jumping. Get a pedicure for two. Buy a small pig and have a roast for your friends. Try an oyster bar. Host a wine and cheese party. Whenever you say grace for a meal, hold hands. Rent a camper or an RV to go away for a week. Go to important church services like Christmas Eve. Visit your grandparents. Return to where you first felt the magic. Visibly get rid of all reminders of past loves. Play strip poker. Order a catered gourmet breakfast. Make love outside. Have a street artist paint your picture together. Buy your wife a beautiful print dress then take a walk in the park. Walk in the rain. Join the Mile High Club. Go to a bodybuilding contest. Call a gourmet caterer for an in-home candlelight dinner. Serve a meal in bed anytime. Be chivalrous. Buy a big, old watermelon on a hot day. Have a barbecue. Go to a parade. Go to a video arcade. Make ornaments for your Christmas tree. Watch movies together with home popped popcorn. Learn how to bake bread together. Go to a bingo game. Attend a country slash 4-H fair. Visit antique stores. Kiss and touch always as you pass each other. Return to your honeymoon hotel for the anniversaries. Needlepoint covers for his golf clubs. Be together without the TV. Host a party in your yard. Try the great American cheesy pastime, miniature golf. Bring home some donuts and milk. Do a brewery slash winery tour. Go to a live play. Run her a hot bath after a long day. Enter your dog or cat in a show. Take up wine making together. Prepare an exotic, ethnic dinner for her. Go to Dairy Queen together. Cook your meal in your fireplace. Host a fondue party for your friends. Take a wine appreciation tour together. Go visit a vineyard. Go to a fashion show. Host a surprise party for a deserving friend. Go to a coffee house. Gospel concert slash chamber music slash jazz bar slash country bar. Go to a little league game. Look in the yellow pages, pick a new restaurant and go. Go to a beauty pageant. Make her cup of cappuccino on a cold morning. Go to a drive-in movie if you can find one. Instead of plain old red roses, try peach, white or in a vase. Buy a copy of a magazine and send your beau a gift subscription. Ferry boat ride. Go fishing together. Check out the skies with a telescope. Go to Chinatown. Go to an ethnic fair. Go to a symphony concert. Do gardening work together. Make a recording of all your favorite love songs. Go for a walk on a foggy night. Moonlit swim. Sunset walks along the beach. Take a hot air balloon flight. Impress her by giving her pet gifts. Get some nice crystal champagne glasses. Use room fragrance or potpourri to set the mood. Wash each other's hair like a professional hair salon. Buy a pie and give it to her. Give her silk roses. Go to an Arabic restaurant. Get a friend to take pictures of you two on a date. Throw her a reunion party with all her friends. Host a party for all his brothers and sisters. Invite his friends over for a party. Always go for a nature date outdoors. Candles are fine but also consider a nice, old fangled oil lamp. Go to Niagara Falls. Arrange for a 21-gun salute on her birthday even if only on tape. Fill her makeup case with stuff. Say we rather than I. Drop out of the bullcrap social scene to be with him. Help her parents out during hard times. Pack him a gourmet lunch. Go for an overnight cruise somewhere. Have a tea party for two with several types of teas, crumpets, etc. Wash and vacuum her car. Bring coffee and donuts to her and her workmates at work. Fireside chats. Take a sign language class together. Talk on ham radio slash CB. 
Talk sexy on the phone. Sit on a blanket and pick out cloud formations on a nice day. Go to the airport to watch the planes. Play laser tag slash paintball. Go for a walk in the rain. Visit a lighthouse. Body surf at the ocean. One day boat cruise. Play charades with friends. Horseback riding. Dance at home in your living room. Dance for each other uninhibited or dance together. Slow dance in the living room. Dance under the stars. Go swing dancing. Try folk dancing. Square dance. Try Latin dancing. Dance in the moonlight. Jazz bars, dance. Learn to belly dance secretly then surprise him one night. Go to an Elks club dance. Attend a Civil War reenactment. Go to a minor league baseball game. Play shuffleboard. Whistle at her or tell her like it is. Give a charity dinner or event in her name. Make her nice meals. Be proud of her and show it. Check with her before planning a couple's invitation slash event. Switch gender roles in the relationship for a while. Hire a violinist to serenade you at home. Get the band at your local nightclub to dedicate a song to her. Talk about your future together. Give him a red tie on Valentine's Day. Sunday afternoon drive. Play checkers. Go hiking, rock collecting, chasing butterflies. Pick wildflowers in the woods. Go to a craft show. Watch a ballet. Watch love shows. Go to a magic show. Go to an amateur variety show. Go to the ice capades. Go to a Star Trek convention. Join the American Legion. State parks are an excellent place for an afternoon date. Play 20 questions for fun. Light up the barbecue and have a marshmallow or weenie roast. Double dates can be fun especially with good friends going dancing. Go to local parades, fireworks, fairs, etc. Big a big brother slash big sister together. Fix up your single friends and go on double dates with them. Go to a piano bar. Get a special song dedicated to her. Sing in a choir together. Go Christmas caroling. Go to local concerts. Go to a pet store slash pet show together. Go to a religious revival. Go to a horse auction slash horse show. Learn how to juggle. Get a convertible and go for a cruise. Play darts at the corner pub. Take a harbor tour. Watch a live taping of a local television program. Charter a helicopter. Sit on the dock of the bay. Learn to rollerblade together. Plant a garden together. Prepare a home-cooked meal. Go out for pizza. Go sightseeing. Have an elegant meal with Crystal and China. Join a mixed bowling league. Look at your old baby pictures. Go on an archaeological dig. Scenic train ride. Go to the circus. Jump rope and play other childhood games together. Go to an antique show slash auction. Go to a cheap photo booth and get some fun pictures taken. Go to a car show. Make a wish at a wishing well. Visit historic sites. Tea party. Ferry slash steamship ride. Share childhood memories. Go to local high school functions like games, plays, etc. Watch love films together. Take a sculpting class together. Have a scenic sunset picnic. Go shopping together, split up to buy each other a gift. Try archery. Go to a rodeo. Pick grapes, stomp them and make wine. Do the rumba. Help out with an ecological group. Go clam digging. Give each other a foot massage. Go to an opera. Donate plasma then use the money for supper. Make a candid camera video for one of them video TV shows. Try a meal at a truck stop. Play with swings at a playground. Put a note in a bottle and set it adrift with your address in it. Read to each other. Write a letter to Santa. Paint her a picture. Write her your own love story. Wear a t-shirt with her picture on it. Go to a high school graduation. Go to reunions. 
Slay Reed. Throw horseshoes. Hey Rod. Take classes together like at the YMCA. Have a fax slash email date. Share parts of your diary together. Play word games together. Moonlit walk. Nighttime moonlight picnic. Do yoga together. Candlelight dinners. Meditate together. Take a class together, ballroom dancing, cooking, painting, etc. Read something together like this book then discuss it. Learn languages together. Go to an awards banquet. Go pick apples at an orchard in the fall. Rent some mopeds or dirt bikes and drive down a country road. Listen to romantic music together. Do the tourist thing in your own city. Go to an art shop and buy some pre-made painting kits. Learn how to make exotic drinks and make them. Go down to the harbor and watch the boats for a while. Have a Mardi Gras costume party. Get mutual tattoos. Park somewhere and neck. Have a picnic on an abandoned lifeguard perch in the fall. Take a leaf-watching trip in the fall. Look through your high school-slash-college yearbook together. Trace your family roots together. Visit a wax museum. Visit a comedy club. Go to an Elvis nostalgia show. Go out together with your brothers and sisters. Get a fish aquarium or some birds. Rent a jeep and spend a day off-roading. Be attentive to his slash her family and friends. Instead of just candles, buy a candlebra. Find a range then go target shooting. Go to flea markets slash auctions. Church bazaar. Take golf lessons. Host an anniversary party for your folks. Tour a college campus. Go to a gymnastics meet. Shoot baskets. Play along with the TV game show. Play computer games together. Take your girl out for a manicure then buy her a bracelet. Forest, make love, hike, camp out, take pictures. Go out for a walk at a big mall. Go to the beach. Go ice skating at a rink or on a lake. Set up a tent in your yard and do it. Tell your wife to go to a bar. Then go in and pick her up. Dinner with another couple, whether old friends or new. Greet your spouse at the door with provocative lingerie. Tickle, stroke and rub her toes. Give her compliments in front of others. Walk holding hands. Keep her picture hanging down from the mirror in your car. Never look at another woman lustingly while out together. Be man enough to admit when you're wrong. Act like two school kids when you're together. Picnic in woods with wine and food. Light jazz on stereo. Gourmet meal delivered. Cozy drives through the country. Buy a porch swing and swing away. Romance one-liners slash romantic one-liners six. Play together like wrestling. Museums. Snorkeling. Stargazing. Wine tasting. Dancing. Horseback riding. Picnicking. Sunbathing. Dirt biking. Ice blocking. Shopping. Surfing slash bodyboarding. Boating. Disc golf. Making dinner at home. Skate parks. Theater slash live entertainment. Bowling. Festivals. Miniature golfing. Skating, roller and ice. Hotel getaway. Bungee jumping. Fishing. Amusement park. Dinner. Hot air balloon ride. Scuba diving. Sunset watching. ATVs. Skydiving. Water slide slash water parks. Comedy slash poetry club. Golfing. Movies at home. Skiing and snowboarding. Walking down Main Street. Camping. Gambling. Movies at a theater. Zoos. Chapter 4. A Romance One-Liner Guide to Romance One-Liners Slash Romantic One-Liners 7 A Love Flag on a Flagpole A Tie with Hearts on It A Heart-Shaped Quilt Aphrodisiacs ATV Ride or Rent Motorcycles and Go for a Ride, You Need a Motorcycle License First Back Rubs 
Be kind and sweet. Be yourself. Birthstone as a gift. Boudoir photography. Bubble bath gift. Carve a heart with your initials in it in a tree in your backyard. Cherish the love. Create a card saying I love you because. Date movies. Define who you are as a lover. Diamond. Discover a world of erotic experience. Effort expended means more than money spent. Enthusiastic support. Flirt and have fun together. Flowers with a vase. Gardening. Get to know her over and over again. Gifts are nice but but don't negate bad things you do. Go to an outdoor or farmer's market. Go for a walk after dinner together. Have flowers delivered to her at work. Heart-shaped pancakes. Heart-shaped box of chocolates. Heart-shaped cookies. Heart-shaped mold for cooking. Heart-shaped bed. Heart-shaped pendant, pin, earrings, jewelry as a gift. Heart-shaped keyring. Heart-shaped wreath. Heart-shaped mats. Heart-shaped picture frame. Heart-shaped doilies. Heart-shaped chocolate treats. Hold hands. If you're getting cement in your back road, put your initials in it around a heart shape like JT plus GW. Kiss before parting. 10 minutes talking before rising. Late night movies and love making. Local community theater. Love letter on heart shaped paper. Love without action is empty words. Love makes the world go round. Love at first sight is a miracle. The trick is to make it last. Love tattoo. Make your backyard a romantic place with a swing for two, a couch, a heart shaped rug, etc. Make a heart shaped cake. Meditate silently together. Moonlit stroll on a beach. More romance means more sex. Only boring people get bored. Thoughtful loving ideas. Parents who love each other and show it have loving kids. Perfume gift. Play seasonal music. It's all free on YouTube. Romance every day in every way. Romance is a safe haven feeling at home. Romance is for people young at heart. Say it if you mean it. Learn from your mistakes. Say I love you on the bathroom mirror with lipstick. Second honeymoon. Sew something with I love you on it. Sing a love song. Socks with heart designs. Spontaneity. Sunday brunch. Swim naked together. Take off his shoes and socks. Talk more. Talk and make love. Tantra exercises. The best romance is happy sex. Think as a couple. Think long term. Toast your love. Toe ring gift. Touch. Touch. Trace a heart in the fogged up window after you take a shower. Try violet flowers. Uninhibited expression of love. Vacations at family resorts. Watch TV together. When love dies, it turns into a scorned person. Yoga program together. Romance one-liners slash romantic one-liners 8. Life is a mixture of emotions. The trick is to feel good about yourself then feel good about being in a monogamous relationship way more than you feel down. I do it by having figured it out on my own as I lived my life and analyzed it. You can't learn this stuff in a book. The fields of psychology and self-help are big, fat frauds. They don't tell you about the real you. They just give sweeping one-liners. It's all bullshit. Live your life. Analyze it one day at a time. Be calm and nice. If you can't do that, you're better off alone. I listened to a bunch of religious stories at unshackled.org. All those alcoholics destroying their families when they're drunk. Take things slowly, one step at a time. Great lovers communicate all the time. Think about your love affair all the time. Never be desperate or try to force her to do anything like on an episode of Cops, the guy goes to the girl's workplace, he tells her to get in the car there by kidnapping her. He ends up in jail because he just wanted to talk. Accept what your partner. True love is letting them be who they are. Never beg or fight. Always be noble. 
work on making yourself a great person. Be confident, stable and respectable. Nobody likes a winner. Everybody hates a complainer. Keep up a hobby to keep yourself interested in life. Socialize openly. It's okay to be friendly to the opposite sex. Apologize when you screw up. Be sincere. Romance her. Seduce her. Be a friend. Romance can happen to anyone at any time. There is no magic formula for romance. Romance is lively and cheerful. Romance is happiness and contentment. Romance is contagious. Love is everlasting. Infatuation is short-term lust. True love is unconditional with no strings attached. Giving love does not guarantee you get it back. Fear of losing love makes people do stupid things. To truly love someone, let them be free. Love is solid and constant. Love does not brag or command. Love is a win-win situation. Love is a free-moving wind that cannot be limited by any boundaries. Love makes everyone dance to its own tune. Be sincere. Romance her. Seduce her. Be a friend. Romance can happen to anyone at any time. There is no magic formula for romance. Romance is lively and cheerful. Romance is happiness and contentment. Romance is contagious. Love is everlasting. Infatuation is short-term lust. True love is unconditional with no strings attached. Giving love does not guarantee you get it back. Fear of losing love makes people do stupid things. To truly love someone, let them be free. Love is solid and constant. Love does not brag or command. Love is a win-win situation. Love is a free-moving wind that cannot be limited by any boundaries. Love makes everyone dance to its own tune. Be clean. Dress nicely. Don't be stingy. Make a good first impression. Don't try exceed your grasp. Be calm. Don't go to an expensive place if it's not your thing. You'll just feel out of place. Plan the date. Plan for rejection or if she wants to keep going on for drinks, supper, etc. A picnic is good then if it goes well suggest you go out later for dinner and a dance. You have to book a table at some restaurants. Groom well. Be healthy. Wear decent clothes. Don't smell bad. Carry enough money. Follow your instincts. Women want romance, their prince carrying them away on his white horse. Women say they want nice guys but they really want guys with money. Guys want a nice girl. They could care less about her career. Give her your attention and listen. Support her feelings. Never criticize her. Appreciate her. Rejoice in her happiness. Grieve in her sadness. Show your dedication. Bring out the similarities between both of you. Let her see herself in you. Let her think that you are two souls in one. Let her be confident. Give her faith and trust. Be there for her. Win her trust. Be faithful and committed. Give her your commitment. Give her the commitment of your heart and your feelings. Make her feel special. Give her the impression that you love her. Romance is personal and endearing. Romance is ambience. Music adds to romance. Romance is fun silliness. Compliment her. Openly appreciate her. Treat her like a lady. Open the car door for her. Wait for her to sit before you take your seat. Pull out the chair for her. Ask her preference before ordering the meal. Make her feel cherished. Show interest in her as a person. Make eye contact when speaking to her. Look deep into her eyes. Be natural. Give thoughtful gifts. When you go to pick her up, take a flower to give her. Learn about her tastes and likings. Smile at her. Give her a cuddly teddy bear. Flirt with her but do not make sexual passes on your first date. Romance one-liners slash romantic one-liners nine. Express love with your eyes. Be a friend. 
let her get to the point where she feels relaxed with you. Give her some space and time. Let her open up to you. Make light conversations. Be funny. Be positive, relaxing and entertaining. Don't discuss anything she's not interested in. Make friends with her family and friends. Never say anything bad about any of her acquaintances. Praise her in front of her family. Ask her out for a Sunday lunch with her family. Let her know that you respect her individuality. Be supportive of her views even if you don't agree. This is the art of charm. Find common interests. Discuss your future. Be yourself not a phony. Be practical. Show that you respect the value of money. Whenever I see some TV show like Intervention, I wonder who would bother to be with an addict who can't keep a roof over their head yet many addicts have mates. Don't be shy. The way I am is don't give a crap. I am who I am. I'm not loud or anything but I simply don't bother with anyone's bullshit. When I used to date, I was upfront. I didn't care. Two young people are supposed to be interested in sex. Share feelings. Everything is emotion. Make her feel good about being with you. Women are attracted to strong, confident men with money and power. Women go out with beta males because they're around, they're willing to talk and befriend a woman. If you're an alpha male, you have to open up at least a little bit. These beta males know they're not handsome or dashing so they join feminist movements and take silly courses at college to befriend women. In this day and age, arrogance in a guy is acute for women under 20 but I think most women over 23 or so realize that arrogant guys are selfish, non-monogamous assholes. It doesn't work in the age of the Metu movement. I was watching the MTV show Are You The One and I noticed some of the girls there go for the arrogant guy but by the end of the season, it all blows up. They kicked Chad out the first day in Bachelor in Paradise, Mr. Arrogant in the Flesh. They didn't go for his impression of himself as IT, the guy looking at himself in the mirror. Every woman wants to feel like the little girl being protected by a noble man. Make a woman feel good. The bad boy things works on young, immature women. By the time a woman hits 27 or so, she wants a guy with a steady job who wants a family. The MTV shows are geared for young people. These people are young. They have time to explore and mess around. The young woman wants a bad boy but after a while, they probably see what I see, a bunch of self-centered nobodies without a marketable way to earn a living. I've known a bunch of bad boys. Some of them are dead. Most are middle-aged losers now. It's like what I saw on the TV show Millionaire Matchmaker. These older women didn't give a crap about cuteness. They wanted a steady guy. That's it, steady guy. Be a stand-up, successful guy with a job. Be attractive. Romance one-liners slash romantic one-liners 10. Everyone wants someone they can talk to. Act similarly to your lover. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Your intuition tells you when you feel primally attracted to someone. Have the guts to follow through when you feel aroused by your lover. There are good people around but I believe the capitalist, pop culture has done a good job of destroying individual morality and goodness. Always look good and be ready for love and romance. Eye contact shows arousal and interest. Be open, gentle, and nice when flirting. First of all, have the guts to flirt. First off, look good then be able to carry a conversation by answering back and initiating with light-hearted things. The closer you are physically, the more intimate you are signaling you want to be. Never play hard to get unless you are not that interested. It's arrogance and stupidity. Don't be too hard on others. They get nervous. Never overdress. You want your date to feel comfortable. The world doesn't revolve around you. If someone asks you questions about you, don't overdo it. Just be casual when answering. Don't act like you're unloading your life. The biggest downer people pick up on after a smelly body is a massive ego. Praise and compliments are good only to the point of massive repetition and insincerity. 
people want empathy, an emotional connection of common ground in life's experiences like he's like me, we understand each other. Admiration and infatuation are nice but they never last because real life is mundane unless you're constantly acting inspired which few people do. Any young person can look nicely but what happens after the date gets past the looks to look at the real you. A good lover is the person who paces themselves to daily living without always trying to be over the top. They can sit and have a quiet meal without trying to act exciting all the time. Simply be easygoing, clam and laugh. Everyone likes nice gifts. Be realistic. Find somebody that matches your life experience. You don't want marry someone outside of your socioeconomic level because you'll never be comfortable with them. It's like the rich guy I saw on TV who married a slut. He was forever trying to please her pea brain with material things because she wanted all that junk. It was horrible. Every relationship has turbulence. Your looks are nature but everybody can make the effort to be healthy and clean. Always be polite and nice. Do favors for people you like. Everyone is different. There is no perfect fit like a glove. That's why if you want to be in a relationship, you must keep your mouth shut over the little things and compromise. A lot of men and women think that if they have a professional job and drive a nice car, they're a catch. There are gold diggers around but a lot of people are looking for someone they can talk to and feel comfortable with. Be a best friend. Don't kiss inappropriately but be a kisser. Focus on the good. Don't be a complaining winner. I listen to unshackled.org. So many people destroy their lives with alcohol. A love affair is not one moment of surrender then everything is good for life. It's constant effort. Happy couples look good because they're so rare. Most couples say they're happy but you can tell they're just like superficial roommates. Be open. Don't keep secrets. The trick to building a good marriage is one day at a time. A good relationship has the feeling that it is always getting better. Don't stop having fun together. Don't be materialistic. Don't buy a bunch of junk for your apartment or house. Embrace the minimalist lifestyle. Focus on pleasure, spirituality, and fun. Don't get in debt. It kills everything. Possessions take effort and life energy. Don't have secrets. When you screw up, apologize. When the other screws up, forgive them several times before you feel it's a broken record. Take care of your life as an individual. If you don't feel loving at the moment, shut your mouth and practice being humble and forgiving. It's really easy to let anger destroy a relationship. It's really hard to quell your anger. Does your relationship feel urgent like you should always be working on it and never take it for granted? Manage differences by accepting them. You shouldn't try to change anyone so let them be who they are. Take the good with the bad like the wedding vows said. Don't be too serious. Avoid fights. Laugh all the time. Be a giver. See your spouse as an equal not someone that you own or control. Uplift each other. Trust each other. Love is patience and kindness. Swearing adds a low-life atmosphere to a relationship. Don't swear. I watch some MTV shows. Whenever I see them swear, I think they just lowered themselves a little bit. Don't blame. Distractions and hobbies are good but not so much that they kill the relationship. Have regular sex. It's natural to be horny. Be direct about it. Be enthusiastic about the relationship. Don't overthink things. Be romantic. Don't be embarrassed about being loving and romantic. Be creative on doing things together. Make the effort to look good. Be active as a couple. Marriage is about becoming the right person. Being loving is being happy to do most of the loving without expecting an equal return. When you're not happy in the relationship, give it time and try to make it better. If it doesn't work, leave. Is it your fault? Are you the good guy or do you want out? A wedding doesn't make a marriage. Effort, commitment, and mutual respect make a marriage. Marriage is a moment-by-moment -moment thing. 
Get rid of expectations. Accept reality. Ideas of a perfect marriage are not realistic. Be faithful. Obey each other. Cherish the other. Forsake all others. Treat each other like young lovers even though you're married. Romance one-liners slash romantic one-liners 11. Care for stand by support compliment cuddle kiss caress love. Spend money dine by things listen to. Stroke a tease comfort protect uphold. Love is support, loyalty, and cookies. Talk before she says we need to talk. Leave the guy alone. Be nice. He'll come when he wants sex and love. A mama's boy will always be a wimp but dominant women make good wives for these guys because they can control them. Men cheat because either they can or they ain't getting enough lovey at home. Win the game by being so nice that he grows to think you're it. If he doesn't want to get married after a year of dating, leave him. If you're a single parent, introduce your children right away because there will be no relationship if he can't get along with them. Be a strong, independent, lonely bitch. Tone it down girlfriend. Be feminine and nice. Be invaluable to each other. What is a happy life? True love. Introduce her as your lady. Pay her way. Take care of her. A stand-up guy pays his own and minds his own business. A good guy cooks every once in a while, clowns the bathroom and takes out the trash every week. A good guy always has a plan for what to do next. A good guy knows where the love is going. Don't be aggressive or look for fights. In modern society, it just gets you to jail. Keep your promises. If you're an overweight slob, get some self-respect. Men respect women who respect themselves, a woman who loves the Lord, is classy and smart. A blissful marriage happens when both people like each other and consciously always try to be the best and do what's best for the relationship. A soulmate is a friend who has never left. A friend is a single soul in two bodies. A soulmate completes you. A great relationship is positive, not neutral. Anger is natural. It destroys almost everything. I had to caution myself about my anger because I knew I would end up in jail if I kept on going the way I was by being visibly angry so now I minimize contact with people whenever I get angry. Avoid fights. Talk but don't argue or fight. Avoid talk about gender rights like feminism or men's rights and politics in general because politics in the media is mostly show for egotistical nerds. The real people who run the world run the banks and own the politicians. It's all bullshit. Don't waste your time on it like who all them idiots harping on it every day. I can listen to democracy now every day and know they're as hateful as the conservatives. Back off sometimes. Let her be herself. Be friendly with the in-laws. Be a good parent. Be passionately loving. Be generous in time and spirit. Be fun, fresh and young at heart together. Be your mate's friend. Be whatever she needs you to be. Do nice, spontaneous things for your lover. Don't just go out for small dates, go out for an entire weekend. Rent a romantic place through Airbnb.com. Go for romantic vacations. Don't put your relationship on hold. Always do more than just minimal romance. Don't talk too much about politics and stuff like that because it's all bullshit in the face of your real life. Don't be a couch potato. Be active therefore lovable. Nobody likes a couch potato. Don't gain fat. Stay attractive. Don't let a relationship get stagnant. Don't question your lover like an interrogator about anything. During the holidays, keep an even keel. They're overrated. Life is what you create day after day. Everybody is a slob on some level. When you marry, you marry the slob too. If you try to change that slobby part, you're asking for a divorce. Forget and forgive minor indiscretions. Go out for a quick meal at a fast food restaurant once a week. Have romantic rituals like kiss when you come home from work. Have a day of rest every week where you sit around and relax together. Have fun. Keep up with your mate's life. Look them up online. 
see what they're doing. Don't buy a lot of material things. Live as an aesthetic spiritual experience. Keep the relationship balanced. Be intimate but work on your individual identity too. Let your partner be who they are by nature. Let your partner shine in their own right. People are so egotistical nowadays that they get jealous if their partner makes more money than them, had more friends than them, is more energetic than them, etc. Love is people who make each other better, who love each other unconditionally. Love is two people cut from the same cloth. Love is someone who makes you laugh. Romance one-liners slash romantic one-liners 12. Love is people we get along with. Love is someone who tells you you're great all the time. People will cheat if you don't give them the emotional warmth they need. They can cheat in many ways. It doesn't have to be sex. If you don't feed your lover love, he or she will find it somewhere else. It might be a lover, a group, church choir, pet, child, etc. Rather than criticize, make suggestions. Rather than sitting home all the time watching a screen, go out and do things together. Sex is natural and should be regular and fun between a married couple. Sex is hard. It's hard to stay sexy to your lover and aroused by them. Take care of the money. There's nothing worse than worrying about ending up homeless. The best gift for your children is to love each other. The less TV you watch and the more time you spend together, the better the love. There is a balance of privacy and openness. You don't have to tell your wife that you masturbate in the basement but tell her if someone eat work is being extra flirty with you. True love is recognizing each other as one and the same. Watch for when your partner is cold to you. That's a sign to warm it up. When your partner feels will spiritually, help them through it. Work less. Spend more time with the family. You need time for mutual relaxation. Romance one-liners slash romantic one-liners 13. Love is. A many splendored thing. People who make us laugh. People who understand us. Someone who can sense your moods. Someone who understands you without words. Someone happy to be with you in silence. A unique, special connection with someone. Someone who who gets you. You know they got your back, they'll be loyal. Are never going to let you down. Saying I love you and meaning it. Liking you despite your flaws. Mutual respect. Kindness. Someone always there. Caring for that person. Feeling their pain when they hurt. Your rock in moments of weakness. Your light when in the dark. Being loving. When someone is mean to you, have the strength to keep quiet. Hold hands in public. Hug each other. The romantic spark comes and goes. Be strong when it's weak. Help your wife with the chores. Have a married life plan. Take care of yourself. Be patient and forgiving. When she is down, make her feel better. Take a walk in the park. Keep the love interesting and open. Give support. When you see warning signals, find out what's wrong. Call him in the middle of the day. Dinner over candlelight. Walk on the beach. Share dreams. Love notes on the bathroom mirror. Bake cookies together. As the guy, clean the bathroom. Change her oil in the car. Clean her car. Be playful. Consider going to church together. Eat together as often as possible. Go camping or rent a cabin. Never fight. Always forgive. Go on a love retreat through a church. If one person wants to talk then talk. Every year on January 1st, have a love talk stating hopes for the future. If the love is gone, don't stay just because you're afraid of being lonely. Go and find a soulmate. If your husband or wife is an alcoholic, don't enable them. Keep telling them that alcohol destroys everything. Shut the phone off when being romantic. Live your life fully and your relationships will thrive. Love creates more love. Be loving and you will get it back. Kiss for 10 seconds every 3 days. Be open and loving. 
If he can't be, kick him to the curb. Love is created in little bits at a time. A good marriage is about being the right person. Be attractive and loving. Do things together. Do chores, talk less. Focus on the good things. The more you give, the more it gives back. Together forever, one day at a time. Love is a feeling of adventure that it is going to get better. Marriage is as lonely as the secrets we keep. Untie yourself from expectations. Embracing the real you as a couple. Have a spirit of gratitude and discovery. Revel in laughter and intimacy. Seek to understand and invest time to communicate. The marriage ebbs and flows. Create boundaries. A healthy marriage takes work. Love is a journey. Have a good identity on your own. Be a pleaser after that. Be a balanced person who seeks a healthy relationship with a balanced person. Romance one-liners slash romantic one-liners 14. Be a straight shooter confident person open to love. Be strong in your desire to love. Healthy body, healthy love. A good soul is the gateway to love. Be open and transparent. Wake up early, pray and spread love. Develop an action plan for love. Make a habit of stepping outside your comfort zone. Be yourself. Don't try too hard. When you operate from your identity and healthy sense of self, you're a cool MF. Be genuinely interested in your lover. Find what makes her tick. What is she passionate about? Women want hard-working, generous monogamous guys. If his long-term plan is his short-term plan, get out immediately. If a man doesn't love his mother, get out. Go horseback riding together. Hit up a batting cage. Skate at an ice skating rink. Volunteer together. Help out at a local soup kitchen. Read books at a local foster home. Rent a convertible and cruise around. Find a quiet place to watch the sunset together. Play a board game. Go for a walk under a starlit sky. Send each other emails. If he doesn't want children and you do, don't marry him. Women want. Respect. Adoration. Affection. Attention. Kindness. Loyalty. The man should love God, his mother, and work a regular job. Spiritual intimacy is making love. Emotional intimacy is being best friends. Bring a box of chocolates home to share. Romance is grace and tact. Bring chocolate chip cookies home. Anyone can have sex but very few can make love with love. Make romance and sex fun. Be cute together. Stay connected to each other emotionally and physically. The more connected, the happier together. Mark 10 colon 8, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two but one flesh. Spend less time looking at a screen, more time being with your spouse. Talk with each other before you go to bed. Romance one-liners slash romantic one-liners 15. Hold hands. Learn how to get your partner aroused and do them regularly. Make love. Just don't have sex. Be best friends. When I found the one my heart loves. I held him and would not let him go. Song 3 colon 4. When something negative happens, you have to lean in and get steamy again. There is no downside for being passionate with your spouse. Be willing to get excited about romance. Clue into your spouse's desires. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife and they become one flesh, Genesis 2.24. Show skin. Be sensuous. Make moves. Empower and enrich your love life. Cuddle up. Flaunt your body for your spouse. Great sex is having the ability to be sexy for years on end to one person. Sex is primal and sacred all in one. More than three drinks of alcohol rarely ends up as a romantic, sexy night. Make your lover feel alive. The greatest relationship is a stable one. What is the beauty of sex to you? Tell your spouse. You were created for sex. 
God made you the way you are so that you can share it with someone special. Once you are married, embrace sensual love. Lose control in mutual lust. Experience that pinnacle of pleasure together. Sex is beautiful and natural. Get rid of baggage. Open your body up to your lover. If you feel tense, learn to relax during romance. Get in touch with your genitals. Read sex books and sex websites. Take control of your sexual satisfaction. Be in touch with your body. Know how to have an orgasm together, know what feels good. Know what you like as a couple. Listen to what God slash your inner voice says about sex. Anyone can have sex, it's about learning how to make love. The two shall become one flesh means sex and love. Yet I don't think the fear that girls would stray is the only reason. That sex has been portrayed as somehow shameful. You should learn about sex before you have it. Sex is physical and also an intimate bonding experience. Try to have a nice body but everybody ages and gets ugly so it's about attitude more so than body if you want a long-term sex life. It's about loving someone for a long time. Great sex is not about adding new physical sensations. It's about adding new warmth and intimacy. Sex is not enough. You need love, commitment, and passion. 